Listen, nigga, I'm from uptown. Ain't no harm in me. My partner school from other niggas before they school from me. And niggas watch me get it and they ain't had no belief. Them L's I took can't get that back. I ain't had no receipt. Like, hey, bro, I'm the shit, baby. I'm too legit, baby. Definitely, definitely. And um, I'm going to take it back to something you just said like a couple minutes before. You said uh, that you kind of slow, but <laughs> but you really moved like strategical because I had the opportunity to, uh, you know, you you would perform that our first show, right. so I kind of got the opportunity to watch you, you know, climb up the rap ladder and you know just keep your name out there and keep your name buzzing. Right. So just talk about you know what goes in into the strategy and you know how you market yourself and just everything dealing with how you growing yourself from where you were to where you as now? Well, um, I'm always thinking about uh, you gotta keep yourself up, like content and shit. I'm always thinking about that. I'm always like, you know, if I didn't have money for videos, I'd be like doing some photo shoots. I was modeling for somebody. Uh, I would just, you know, features. Like, you just stay consistent for like, well, anything that's just to keep your face up. Like, and then I oh, I do shit, I kind of do shit that I know people going to talk about, like, when I cross my legs. That's something I really do, but I knew people was going to talk about it. Like, a, the average nigga went cross his leg because they'll feel like, man, that's gay. But, like, my OGs do that. Like, I've been around real niggas that'll smack the fuck out you for playing with them. They cross their legs. Like, one of my uncles crossed his leg, my pa crossed his leg, my grandpa crossed his legs. And, um... I knew that probably would get me talked about. I kind of, I, I like to do shit that just to get me talked about. You feel what I'm saying? So everything is kind of strategic. And, um, like, this new all this shit, I've been rapping like this. So, um, this is not something that I'd be, like, trying to do or, like, I want to be, like, slim. This is really how I am. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, anybody who knew you, who knew me before rap, I always was, like, Talking about cash money and shit like my partners really called me Iceberg Shorty. We really watch. I really used to sit and watch Baller Blocking for like five hours, just juicing that bitch. Right. So, like, um, as far as keeping myself in the game, like my image was, you know, your image is everything. You gotta have hustling skills, create you some merch, you know, that'll we that'll keep you some bread in your pocket for you to keep doing rap. Um. I'm older and I'm wiser, so I know how to move on some shit. Like, I'm like, I'm 28. I know how to move now. Like, I know how to, like, plan shit out. You know, you don't really just attack no more. The rap game, like, it's not for new children. It's really for men. Like, you got to build a man. If nobody ain't putting you on, if nobody not putting no bread into you, you really got to build a man. Like, you got to make sacrifices. You got to stop smoking weed. You got to stop buying clothes. You got to stop, like... You know, tricking to the moves, if that's what you do. I'm just saying shit if you do, but like, whatever you do that ain't put no bread into the rap career, like, don't do it. Like, you know, you sit inside all day, you know what I'm saying? Don't go to no clubs. You gotta say fuck who's and stop having no lady. Like, I didn't stop fucking with females because I wanted to spend my money on rap and I ain't gonna, you know, get into commitments and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you just gotta take every every like everything you doing and just put it on a back burner like i don't even have no outside like you gotta like not have no outside life for this shit.